Okay, here's a hormone optimization tip that I think you're gonna enjoy. This is a fun one. And this is re with regards to optimizing leptin, which again is a master control hormone. It's your natural fuel gauge. It lets you know when to stop eating. You start eating a meal, leptin levels start going up. It lets you know when your muscles, your cells, your liver, everything's been nourished, and then you can stop eating so that you don't continue to eat and just have calories allocated to stored body fat. So when leptin is working properly, it's sensitive. You only have to produce a small amount to get the job done. And then you have an abundance of energy for thriving, creating sex hormones and growth hormone and building muscle. These are all energy intensive endeavors. Now the thing about leptin is this, when people go on a diet, what do they do? They reduce calories. So let's say you go from 3000 calories to 1500 calories. Now initially you're gonna lose a bunch of weight. I mean, you just cut your calories in half. But over time, your body down regulates. Your body starts adapting to the calories that are coming in. It's going, we're no longer getting 3,000 calories. So now we need to prioritize what energy is allocated towards. We're not gonna focus on thriving anymore. We're gonna focus on survival. So now your sex drive plummets, your workout recovery is not as good, your growth hormone is plummeting because your energy, your, your metabolism is slower, but metabolism is not just with regards to fat burning, it's total energy expenditure. So when you have a low metabolism, that means you have low energy production for everything, not just fat burning. So, when, so how do we get around this when it comes to dieting? Because you have to cut out things, you have to reduce food intake when you wanna drop body fat, that's a given. I mean, the obvious thing to do is focus on foods that are really high in nutrition and relatively low in calories. In other words, the ratio between the nutrition you're getting and the calories is favorable. It's in your favor. You're getting a lot of nutrition without having to take in a lot of calories. I'm 200 pounds, six feet tall, very lean, good amount of muscle. I don't eat that much. I eat two times a day. I have a protein shake for breakfast and I have a big dinner at night and sometimes I snack and I barely eat anything in between. And I feel really strong, healthy, lean at this body weight. And the, the thing though is, is that the food choices I'm making are very high in nutrition. I'm not just eating a bunch of junk where you're getting macros, you're getting protein, you're getting fat, you're getting carbs, but you're not getting vitamins, you're not getting minerals, you're not getting polyphenols, you're not getting things that nourish your body. You're just getting the macro, but you need the micro, you need micronutrients. So you wanna choose foods that are very high in micronutrients. And for me on a plant-based diet, that's legumes, it's nuts and seeds, it's mushrooms, it's fruits and vegetables. So primarily that's what I consume. And then maybe I'll deviate a little bit. I'll have some rice every once in a while or some quinoa or sweet potatoes, but those are not staples. Those are not things I have all the time. What I thrive on are the food groups that I just mentioned. But here's one thing. I like to eat junk like everybody else. I like to eat coconut ice cream. I like to cakes, pies, as long as it's plant-based or vegan, I don't mind. I eat that stuff all the time. This guy at the dog park was asking me, speaking of eating, Grover, are you about to throw up now? Grover, when you throw up, don't make a lot of noise, okay? Because I'm in, I'm in a good flow right here. No, nah, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. You're going to puke right in front of me, <laughs> Grover. You drive me nuts. You drive me nuts. Yeah. All right, that's it. Go sit down somewhere. I have to clean this up now after I'm finished recording here. Grover, Grover, Grover. All right. So what's... what's the fun part about working around this and ramping up your metabolism is this. Five days out of the week, eat lower calorie. Have the discipline. Eat clean. Now, two days out of the week, purposely eat an extra 500 up to an extra 1,000 calories. Play around with this, but start with an extra 500 calories. Now, this can be 500 calories from fucking junk. It can be calories from pizza, cake, ice cream, I don't give a fuck. Just, just consume more than you normally would completely guilt-free. It should be guilt-free anyway. Just enjoy it. You got to live a little bit. Now, what's going to happen is, is that two days of overeating, again, an extra 500 to 1,000 calories. We're not talking an extra 5,000 calories. Now, all of a sudden, your metabolism goes way up because your brain and body are thinking, man, we're, we're consuming a lot of calories here, so let's upregulate everything. So now when you go into the following week, let's say Monday through Friday, you eat clean. Weekends, you loosen it up a bit. You have some fun. By the way, alcohol doesn't count as part of this. Alcohol is 100% disastrous for your body. There's no benefit whatsoever for your health from consuming alcohol. So don't kid yourself. Anyone that tells you otherwise is a fucking idiot. They have no clue what they're talking about. One glass of alcohol shuts down growth hormone for fucking 
24 hours, one glass, testosterone plummets, conversion of testosterone and estrogen increases insulin resistance. I could go on and on and on, fucks up your liver. I could keep going. So alcohol does not count with this. Now, when you, can, when you have those two days of indulgence though, you go into the next week with a much higher metabolism. So now you're gonna be burning more fat as you're taking in lower calories. So before you were taking in lower calories and your metabolism downregulated. So you're not gonna be in a fat burning state. Now you've taken in two days of excessive calories. So Monday through Friday, you're gonna be running at a higher metabolic rate. And as a result, you're gonna burn more fat and have greater energy expenditure for thriving. All right, now on that note, I have to focus on cleaning up this puke that Grover just produced on my floor. Thank God I don't have carpets, I'll tell you that much, because I would be blowing a lot of money on carpet cleaners. <laughs>